Yeah, good morning, students. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce this classroom discussion topic on uh, single link list uh, operations. That is how the memory is going to be dynamically allocated and deallocated for creation of the uh, nodes in the single link list that we are going to discuss. Okay, so now I would like to share my screen. Yeah, I hope my screen is visible to you. This is a week eight lecture to memory allocation and deallocation for single link list. Summary of the previous uh, CDT is that uh, in uh, previous CDT, we introduced about the basic terminology related to this uh, link list. So link list is a, a linear data structure. So every data item in the link list are uh, not uh, stored in a consequent memory locations. It holds the data in the form of nodes. A link list is nothing but it's a collection of nodes where each node contains one or more data fields and uh, a, a pointer or a reference to the next node. So the last uh, node points to a null reference to indicate the end of the list. So objectives of this uh, today's session is that uh, how to allocate and deallocate memory for link list. So lecture outcome is that after completion of the session, student will be able to allocate and uh, deallocate the uh, memory for link list. So memory allocation and deallocation for a linked list. So if you see that, if you want to add a node to an already existing linked list in the memory, we first find free space in the memory and then use it to store information. So consider a linked list here, we are storing rule number and marks and then link here we are storing that. Okay, so this is a, a start node here. Uh, it is uh, storing the starting node address one. So is a rule number S01 and marks is 78. Then here it is storing this uh, next node 2. So it is coming S02, 84 and S03, uh, 45 and then 5 S04, uh, 98 and then 7 S05, 55 and then 8 S08, uh, 34, 10 S07. Like that it is storing this is a linked list which is already having uh, rule number uh, S01 to S11 students information is stored. So consider the linked list shown in figure which contains the roll numbers of students marks obtained by them in biology and finally a next field which stores the address of the next node in sequence fine so now if we if a new student joins the class and is asked to appear for the same test that the other student had taken then the new students marks should also be recorded in the linked list so for this purpose we find a free space and allocate and store the information there this will in figure so the gray shaded portion shows free spaces. So this is uh, 4, 6, 9 and 14. These are the free spaces. And thus we have four uh, memory locations available. So um, here uh, we are storing this uh, information in the fourth uh, location S12. So we are uh, changing here S12. So what we are doing here is that uh, in the fourth location we are storing S12 student well information mass score is 75 and this is a null minus one. But what we have to do here, this is the previous node, previous node, the next field should be changed to oh, minus one, two. So here uh, we have earlier minus one is there that we need to change it as four because this node, uh, this uh, student uh, is a newly joined student. Fine. So this is a change we have to do when we are uh, inserting a node into a linked list. So uh, which part of the memory is available and uh, what part is occupied? So how do we know that? When we delete a node from a linked list, then the changes the status of the memory occupied uh, from occupied to available. So the answer is operating systems. The computer maintains a list of all free memory cells. So this list of available uh, space uh, is called it as the free pool. So for the free pool, which is a linked list of all free memory cells, we have a pointer available uh, avail uh, which stores the address of the first free space. So now when a new student's record has to be added, the memory address pointed by avail will be taken and used to store the desired information. After the insertion, the next avail, uh, available free space address will be stored in avail. So when we delete a particular node from an, exist, uh, from an existing link list or delete the entire link list, the system occupies by it must be given back to the free space pool so that the memory can be reused by some of the some other programs that needs main memory space. So the operating system does this task of adding the free memory to the free pool. So the operating system will perform this operation whenever it finds the CPU ideal or whenever the programs are uh, falling short of memory space. So the operating system scans through all the memory cells and marks uh, 
those cells that are being used by some programs. Then it collects all the cells which are not being used and adds their addresses to the free space pool so that these uh, cells can be used uh, by other programs. This process is called as a garbage collection. Now, this is the reflection part one. What is uh, garbage collection? So, the lecture outcomes are registered here. After completing this session, students will be able to allocate and deallocate memory for linked list. And this is a summary of the session here. To allocate memory for new nodes, operating system will maintain uh, a free space pool and is pointed by avail. So, which uh, points to the first free space in that pool. To deallocate memory, operating system collects unused spaces and add it to the free pool. So, this is a lecture level practice problem. What is the role of avail and start pointers in linked list? Anyone can answer that. Avail is uh, for uh, storing the uh, starting address of the free space memory and uh, start is used for storing the address of the starting node address in the linked list. And these are the further readings. Okay, so you can refer these textbooks as well as reference books on this topic. Okay, so thank you, thank you, and all.